so I don't waste my money on whether it's one of your leads that you gave me, a PPC, PPL, yep. or whatever it is, they all cost money. So like, what? how aggressive do I get? For the people that are listening and still engaged into this, this is gonna be probably the most value that I can provide um, because I'm such an avid believer in what I'm about to share. So when I walked into your guys' industry, I saw that the industry was pretty good at drip sequencing on half of what they should do. And so the way I look at drip sequencing is very defined. You have no pitch, no contact leads, and then you have terminated lead drip sequencing. And this industry is really good at this. Like, hey, like we couldn't get them on the phone. Day one, text them this. Day two, text them this. Day three, day 10, day, 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 day. okay, well, we talked to them, but they never let us come to the house. Never, like the industry's got that down. Where I see the biggest gap I mean, and where we have, where we're printing money on the back end is the go F yourself leads. The people who said, I would never sell it for that much. I'm listening with a realtor. I'm working with another wholesaler, not interested. Everything other than the magic three words in consecutive order, do not call. But every terminated disposition in our system has two really unique things that happens. A, number one, it has a follow-up sequence based on that disposition. And not interested, it's gonna get a different cadence than a once retail, than a working with a realtor and working with a wholesaler. So those are like the four core components right there. Because if somebody wants retail, it just means it's not the right time and price. And so we wanna keep on, but that's where I, I think everybody's kind of got this. You can't really screw that one up too much, but there needs to be a lot of focus on this. And then here's how you really accelerate this. So if somebody says, hey, go screw yourself. I would never sell the house for that price. F off, you're a scumbag, click. The very next day they get a message. Hey, I was just thinking about you yesterday, blah, 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 blah. Then like seven days later, and then it cools out a little bit, but we're following up with them. The drip sequencings are what's, it's built out for over a year. But the best part is about every quarter to four months, what's so beautiful is it forces it out of that trash bucket. Cause that's what a closer thinks. They're like, oh, they told me once retail, it's trash. It forces it out of that trash bucket back into a closer's hand for human touch. If you don't force your closers to call the previously terminated leads on top of the texting or the emailing or the RBM that you're gonna drop them, you're missing out on a very, very huge opportunity. So our terminated leads, not only do they get drip sequenced forever, but it also requires a certain cadence of a human touch on top of the manual automated drip sequencing. And dude, we're pulling out deals that are 600, 900 days old, a thousand days old, because we just don't leave them alone. So aggressive. Aggressive. Especially on the go F you leads. I can't emphasize it enough. The people who said go F you had a bad day. Their wife was rude to them last night. They got stuck in traffic. They, their buddy told them something wrong about the real estate market. The wholesaler they said was going to sell the house flaked out. The realtor was a scumbag. All of these are reasons to keep nurturing them until their house is sold. Are you, what's your form? Email, text, call, all of it in between there? Or what do you text, doing? text is the primary driver and then phone call human touch. That's really it, honestly. Like when they get on the phone with them, they'll shoot them a manual email. 